Hi, my name is Lance Dalek, professor of exercise and sports science at Western Colorado University and also a member of the ACE Scientific Advisory Panel. In this month's issue of Certified, I've authored an article discussing exercise programming considerations for clients with metabolic syndrome. In today's video segment, there's really two things I want to talk about. Uh, one is the prevalence of metabolic syndrome uh, throughout the United States population, and then I want to talk about the remarkable benefits that exercise can have on your clients with metabolic syndrome. So first of all, uh, metabolic syndrome is widespread. Uh, statistically speaking, one in three American adults uh, have been diagnosed or could be diagnosed with metabolic syndrome, and that percentage increases quite markedly with aging. Uh, older adults, uh, 60 and older, that number, uh, that prevalence number increases to 50%. And so what that means is it's incredibly likely that your clients will have metabolic syndrome, um, one in three. And, and again, going up to the older adult category, one in two. So I think that's just really important to let those statistics sink in uh, and, and think about that um, when, when you're working with clients. Um, because I think this article and, and some of the content that I have in this article with respect to uh, considerations for medications, comorbidities, um, ACE-sponsored studies, and, and some of those findings and how those can apply, they're going to be really, really um, applicable. So secondly, and, and this, this just gets me really excited, you know, we've, we've all heard now for, for more than a decade, you know, this concept exercise is medicine. And for you know, the last year or so, you know, I've written a number of articles, done video segments on exercise programming consideration for individuals with different chronic conditions. And in many of those instances, even though exercise is helping, um, the condition is still progressive, you know, meaning that over the years, it's going to continue to get worse. And, and what we're doing with exercise is really trying to help to manage, you know, symptoms such as pain, such, such as fatigue, such as energy level. And again, I don't want to diminish that those have benefits. Uh, but when we talk about exercise and we talk about metabolic syndrome, you know, the impact that exercise can have is really incredible. Uh, we've done a number of studies, and, and again, some of them have been sponsored by ACE, where we've shown that with exercise that's prescribed on an individual basis according to the integrated fitness training model, we can actually eliminate components of metabolic syndrome and, in fact, eliminate metabolic syndrome itself. So the components of metabolic syndrome, and I've outlined these in the article, include central adiposity, you know, so elevated waist circumference, uh, elevated blood pressure, elevated blood glucose, elevated triglycerides, and then low high-density lipoprotein or HDL cholesterol, the so-called good cholesterol. So to reiterate, with exercise that's prescribed according to the IFT model, after several months, we've observed individuals who may have had elevated blood pressure no longer have elevated blood pressure or have elevated fasting blood glucose levels, and then three months later, their fasting blood glucose levels are normal. This is incredible, and the key consideration that we have found that underpins the likelihood of eliminating components of the metabolic syndrome or eliminating metabolic syndrome itself is total exercise volume. And we've observed that individuals that can progress from on average 30 minutes a day of exercise, and this can be a combination of cardiorespiratory and muscular training, and we can progress them of five days per week of during 30 minutes to up to an hour five days per week. And this doesn't have to be high intensity. I'm talking about moderate intensity training. 
that that increases the likelihood of eliminating the components of the metabolic syndrome up to five and even tenfold. These are just remarkable findings. Uh, this is remarkable that I can you know, share this with you and, and we have the evidence um, across a number of studies that we've, we've observed this. And so, you know, as an exercise professional, you know, I really, you know, want to leave you with this, that following that IFT model and its components and focusing on exercise volume is without a doubt the best thing that you can do for your clients with metabolic syndrome. And again, we're not just managing the symptoms of metabolic syndrome and hoping, hoping they don't get worse and hoping it doesn't progress to type 2 diabetes or cardiovascular disease. We're actually eradicating or eliminating it as a chronic condition. And you know, I would encourage you to you know, follow the recommendations I've shared with you in today's video segment, uh, share that information with your clients, and um, you will be you know, delighted at the outcomes that you'll collaborate with your clients with um, and, and enjoy some of these benefits that I've shared with you today. So as always, uh, it's great to talk with you. Happy holidays and good luck with your clients.